Virginia authorities will not be seeking charges against the six-year-old boy who shot and injured his Virginia school teacher because the prospect that a six-year-old can stand trial is problematic. It comes after the boy, who has not been named, opened fire on his first grade elementary school teacher, Abby Zwerner, on January the 6th at Richneck Elementary School. She is still recovering at home from her injuries. Best wishes. The prosecutor says he has yet to decide whether any adults associated with the case will be held criminally responsible. Here's a clue. Yes. Hold them responsible. Responsible. Virginia law prohibits leaving a loaded gun where it is accessible to a child under the age of 14. A misdemeanor crime punishable with a maximum one year sentence and a $2,500 fine. Well, what's up with that, Virginia? That's too light. The general consensus is that a six year old cannot form the requisite criminal intent to be guilty of an aggravated assault. Further, the child would not be able to understand the legal system. The six year old targeted his teacher after he stole his mother's gun from their home before putting it in his backpack and taking it to school. As the class were readying to head to an art lesson, the youngster pulled out the handgun, leading the teacher, Abby Zwerner, to quickly try and confiscate it. Her intervention led him to pull the trigger with the bullet passing through her hand and into her chest. Police confirmed at the time that the attack was intentional, not accidental. Despite being hit with the bullet, authorities said that the teacher made sure all of the children in her class were safe and out of the room before she attempted to find help. Police revealed that her first questions when she was visited in the hospital was, do you know how my students are. Quick commentary. I kind of agree. I don't think the six-year-old should face charges. It seems a little bit silly. What are you going to do? Lock him away for forever? I don't know. But certainly they need to be evaluated mentally. And further to that, Virginia law needs to be reviewed. It's not good enough to only have a punishable crime to a maximum one year prison sentence or a two and a half thousand dollar fine if you leave a gun accessible to children. That's not good enough. It needs to be harsher sentencing.